Hello everybody. Been a little while since I've done one of these. This will uh, be the first ever game for the Southern California Sun and the Hawaiians. Even though they played in Honolulu, they went by simply the Hawaiians. This was the 1974 World Football League premiere. And the person I bought this from actually had a ticket stub from the game, which cost you $7.50 on Wednesday, July 17th, 1974 which was two days after I turned six years old. And there's the, uh, the cover of Commissioner Gary Davidson and what they planned on using the football for originally, a yellow ball with a blue uh, spiral around the ends. They wound up changing that to a different color. I'm not sure why that is though. I have actually a game ball of that. Uh, readers of the blog probably know that already. So come, there's a... Uh, advertisement for the Sun the two board beer the Sun uh, with their magenta and orange uniform there's a uh, owner and president Larry G Hatfield who says that the Sun plans on uh, playing the most aggressive and dynamic football around eat drink and meet Mary which, uh, come to the Jolly Ox I'm sure Many members of the Sun actually did meet Mary, I'm sure. The Outlook for the Sun, Ralph Nelson running back. Uh, caption does not say who this wide receiver is. Let's go Sun. Want to talk football? Well, let's go to Sir Speedy. Well, I'm sure that's exactly what they were looking for. There's the, uh, Sun's co the Sun coaching staff. Uh, Tom Fears, Football Hall of Famer, and once coached the New Orleans Saints. Ernie Wheel Wright, a former Saints running back. Uh, Dick Enright and Earl Leggett, longtime assistants in the National Football League. There's some stories about uh, training camps and the uh, World Football League camp. The Sun on radio and TV. Two appearances on national television and will appear locally for all their road games. So that's a pretty good that's a pretty good uh, television package. For that day, for that time, uh, the official World Football League restaurants, the Sizzler. Uh, keep, uh, this is a good twenty-something years before Joe Flaherty would jump out and ask Shooter McGavin and Happy Gilmore, "Hey, hey, uh, want to get check out the Sizzler for some grub?" Here's uh, Commissioner Gary Davidson with a football that was never used in a game. It's an article on Davidson and. What would be a 70s program without some ugly cars? A new kind of Volkswagen, the Dasher. Valentine Scott with a probable a starlet of days gone by. Here's a cartoon of Gary Davidson with the, uh, talks a little bit about Davidson. And there are 20 league games and no exhibitions. Can you imagine playing, tw the NFL guys cry about going to 17. Gatorade, the World Football League directory with no addresses though, so had I had this when I was a kid, I wouldn't be able to take too much advantage of it. The Birmingham Americans, the Chicago Fire, the Hawaiians, Detroit Wheels, Houston Texans, Florida Blazers, Memphis Southman, Philadelphia Bell, Sun, Jacksonville Sharks, New York Stars, and Portland Storm. Some of the former players of the past that are involved were involved with the World Football League, and, and an article about uh, these gentlemen. There's uh, the television package on TBS, which was like a syndicated sports network at the time, with Merle Harmon, who was a uh, pretty popular sports announcer of the day, and owned a. Uh, well, I don't think I don't know if he owned it or not, but it was Merle Harmon's Fanfare, which is like a sports shop that was kind of ahead of its time that you could find some stores around the country. Remember the Sun played their game at uh, Anaheim Stadium where the Californ then California Angels played. Let's look at the roster of the Sun. And there's the starting lineups for the Sun. Let's see who we recognize. Ike Harris would play for the Cardinals and Saints for several years. Dave Williams had, was winding down his career after a pretty solid career with the St. Louis Cardinals. 
Tony Adams would play for the Kansas City Chiefs and then the CFL with Toronto, I think. James McAllister, the dad of former Pro Bowl cornerback Chris McAllister. He would spend some time with the Eagles after the World Football League folded. Dave Roller was a longtime Packer. Charles DeJernet with the Rams. Thurwood Keaton, I believe, played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, the Hawaiians, Norris Weiss would back up with the Denver Broncos. It was Weiss that uh, led the Broncos to their only touchdown in their first Super Bowl th three years later after this game was played. On defense, I think Lynn Burnham played for the Eagles for a couple years, but that's the only name that I recognize. I think Ron East was a charger. There's some pictures of some of the Hawaiians with their Oh, well, there's a coach I recognize. Uh, Matt Hazeltine, former San Francisco 49er, and Marv Marinovich, who would be the father of the Robo QB, Todd Marinovich. Some pictures of some really loud shirts for the Hawaiians. The official self service gasoline of the Southern California Sun. And there's uh, Jim Cadell. Former Chicago Bear. He's coming back as the old man of the Hawaiians. Why we made an issue of women's sports. The new input for the computer quarterback is Virgil Carter, former Cincinnati Bengal and Chicago Bear at this point. Spalding, the official ball of the WFL. Thanks for the black and white. I had a lousy day at the office. Everyone was barking at you, huh? Arf, arf. Okay, well, thanks for that chuckle of humor. Tequila Sunrise. The WFL takes away the rules. Takes the game to the fan, gives to the fans a way in kickers and some of the rule changes. The ball kicked off from the 30-yard line. The goalpost moved back to the rear of the end zone, which the NFL hadn't quite hadn't done yet. Missed field goals were returned to the line of scrimmage, except for attempted inside the 20. The NFL didn't have that rule at the time. They do now. Receivers will have one foot in bounds for a completion. That's the college rule. The NFL still doesn't do that. There will be a fifth quarter split into two seven and a half minute segments to break ties. That's a new one. No fair catches on punts. Offensive back will be permitted to go in motion toward the line of scrimmage before the ball is snapped. That's similar to the CFL rule. And the hash marks, yes, they would be eventually be moved to there too. So they were, again, ahead of their time in a, in a way. The NFL does that. They'll use these various leagues to uh, steal their ideas after they're gone. The article on Tom Fears, and there's one of those Screams 1970s Hyatt Hotel uh, elevators. It wouldn't surprise me if this was filmed there. Uh, you probably have seen them in tons of disaster movies and uh, stuff like that. Uh, the one that jumps to mind immediately is In Line of Fire with Clint Eastwood and John Malkovich in the last, uh, the final scene of the film. That's one ugly football player. And it says, ugly football player lamp. I didn't even catch that part. You weren't lying. Here is uh, some of the future names that had signed with the, signed future contracts with the World Football League. Not many of these guys would eventually play there. But uh, I do see Larry Zonka, who would. John Gilliam, who would. Calvin Hill, who would. Ted Qualick. Daryl LaMonica, who would quarterback the Sun the following season. And Paul Warfield and John Wilbur. So some of these guys actually would uh, play in the World Football League before it went under. And there's the depth chart for the team. Tough Alonzo Emery, Emery grinds his path onto the Suns roster. Well, all that on one play, huh? This is the action point, which is their version of the two-point conversion. Referee signals, because you have to have those. There's the uh, Follow the Sun in 1974 with their television schedule. After the game, relax and dance, di relax, dine and dance at the Saddleback Inn. There's the next home game against the New York Stars, coached by Babe Corelli. More on Anaheim Stadium where the sun rises, and this burger, eat burger world, the Whopper. $1 to park at Anaheim Stadium. There's the 
right across from the Whopper, you get a McDonald's ad. A very special evening for McDonald's. You get for that New York Stars game. And yes, it, we, we have to always look at these. Where a football league pennant would set you back a buck and a quarter, a button of 50 cents. If anybody has any of this stuff, please let me know. A helmet lamp, $35. That was not uh, inexpensive in 1974. If anybody has one of these Southern California Sun lamps or plaques, please let me know. I'm interested. You can get yourself a golf shirt for $10.95, a ladies halter top for $4. And then you, you end with a slits but ad. And again, it wouldn't be a 70s program without an ad for television, which looks like more of a TV tray today. And that's a, definitely the Florida Gators against somebody because you can tell by the, 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 uh, the helmets. It might even be from the Steve Spurrier or the John Reeves day. So that wraps up uh, the first ever game for the Southern California Sun against the Hawaiians and a very cool ticket stuff. So uh, don't forget to check out the blog at thoughtsofrs.blogspot.com and uh, subscribe or like or whatever you wish to do. All things appreciated. So we'll be back and we'll see you next time with yet another program.